Hi everyone! In this short video clip you're going to see us letting our cows out to pasture the first time this spring. Usually we keep them in the corral and in the barn throughout the winter. We don't stanchel our cattle but we allow them to go in and out in a smaller area that we use um, pasture just outside the barn. We enclose that with some cedar rails. So this is going to be the first time that we get them out onto pasture grass and we're going to talk a bit about our fencing that we use uh, on our farm and some of the systems that we use. Hope this is helpful. Hi everyone, we're going to talk a bit about our fencing. So we have the cows out today. We're going to explain what we use for fencing. Everybody's a bit different. We typically use an electrified wire. We use two strands, especially in the areas that are going by the roads. We tend to use cedar rail posts. We're fortunate in the sense that our farm has a lot of cedar on it, so it's quite easy for us to get cedar rails and cedar rail posts. When you hook up your fencing, you'll see that there's these little insulators. These are what we screw into the post to run the wire fencing on. And we use a rotational grazing system. So I mentioned that we use double stranded wire on the outside perimeter, but on the inside, we run a single strand of electrified wire. We tend to rotate our cows through sections of our pasture, probably about every week. Uh, it doesn't take them too long actually to eat down what we have available for grass. Um, so we rotate them through our pasture land here and we have pasture land uh, neighboring us as well that we tend to rotate them through. When you're putting up fencing it's sometimes hard to know how far apart your posts should be. Typically for these cedar posts we go about 12 strides. So no more than 12 strides apart and even a bit less would be fine. Um, again, it depends what you're fencing, but for the cows we find this seems to work reasonably well. One of the biggest challenges with fencing is trying to maintain your lines so that you don't have bushes growing on them. This is a line that we haven't cut so far this year. We usually bush saw along and also whipper snip the lower lines to keep the uh, growth from coming up. So this one needs tackle. Comparing fence lines, this is a fence line that we have a bush sawed. As you can see, we haven't moved the cows into this pasture yet, but with our rotational system, they will be moving here. And we'll simply run our electric fence wire along. This is our bush saw that we use to help clear out below the fence lines. It's good for small to intermediate size brush. This is a still FS450K. And that was Carlisle saying hello. So we keep our fencer in our winter chicken house. Come on in and I'll show you. Here's the fence charger. Typically you want to have it charging around 11 or 12. A strong charge is good, especially for cattle. These are some of the supplies we use when we go fencing and we typically load them on the back of an RTV to drive them around. We have a milk crate full of spools of fencing wire. When you're unraveling your fencing wire, typically you hold your spoon, spool and walk backwards and unravel it as you go. So you do that once you've got your posts established. Here's just an example of a cruddy old post. These are insulators. And I'm going to show you how they slip on and slip off. We like these ones for the metal posts. You just unscrew the back, slide it off, 
and you slide it on. You can tighten it and adjust the height to what you to whatever you prefer. Your wire is going to run underneath and over these little hooks to hold it in place. So we have a container full of these insulators and then we have another bucket full of a different type of insulator. This is the type that we usually put on any cedar rail posts. Same idea, you put your wire through the clips to hold it in place, your electric wire, and then this one hammers into the cedar rail post. We have a bucket of fencing nails that we use to attach it with. So that is how we organize our fencing supplies. Not a fancy system, but it works for us. And of course, don't forget to take your hammer and make sure your fence is off so you don't get shocked.